What is up guys and welcome to episode 7 of the Road to Messi series and it's in the top right hand corner we've got 41,000 coins and we've actually been able to sell the centre mid 442 Fring Pong for 7.1k so I'm pretty happy with that. The next card that we actually was able to sell was the 41212 Inform uh, Collar Rob which you'll be able to see on the screen now. Uh, not bad at all, you know, made, probably made about 1.5k to 2k profit on that but the fact of the matter was that I just really really wanted to sell that player and you know being able to sell him finally was a good feeling because it means I can actually go into the market and buy a few more players that I can actually you know invest in and hopefully make a bit of a profit in so the first three players for the start of this episode is going to be the first one is going to be a right mid 442 coleman picked him up for 3.7k and i was quite surprised at how expensive this guy was in a 442 you know the 442 ones go for about 8k um so i put mine up for about 7.5k and hopefully he will sell if he doesn't sell then i'll probably drop him up just under 7k and i'm almost 100 percent sure he will sell then the next card that we actually pick up is going to be this guy. is a striker, 433 Benteke. Plays for Aston Villa and is from Belgium. Um, I think we picked him up for about 11.5k, which is pretty good as well. You know, a pretty good deal. Uh, and then we'll be able to sell him on for about 16,000 coins. And if he doesn't sell for that price, after 12 hours, I probably will drop him to around 15k or so. You know, I don't really want to go under 15k because it will cut our losses um, and cut our profit quite a bit. But, you know, overall, I think that was a good deal overall. So the next card and final card for the start of this episode is going to be the centre defence mid 433 Cleverly now. This guy was a bit of an iffy one. I do actually have to apply a CDM to send mid card on him, otherwise he won't really sell. Um, it's going to make it a lot more easier if I do apply the CDM to send mid card. I actually picked one up for 2.1k, which applying that to him probably makes a you know combined total of them two cards um, and cleverly, obviously, to about 21,000 coins. And I'm pretty certain I will be able to sell cleverly um, for about 25 to 26,000 coins, especially because he is in a centre mid and a 4-3-3 formation. So I am pretty pretty happy with that. So. Let's go and check out um, a few of the players that I've actually sold from last episode. Well, from the start of this episode, actually. Um, well, there's a few there from last episode as well, like the Lee, the Fox, and stuff like that. But the ones from the start of this episode was the uh, Coleman that actually sold for 6.9k, and also the Benteke that actually sold for 15,250 coins. And I think we do actually realise that the other 433 centre mid, cleverly, didn't actually sell. So I think we will have to. You know, probably keep holding him for a little bit more. Um, he's about 26,000 coins that I'm picking him up for. And if he doesn't sell for that, you know, I'll probably just keep him for a couple of days and wait for his price to rise a little bit more. Because I'm pretty certain his price will rise, but I'm not too sure how long it will take. So the first card that we actually do pick up here as well um, is going to be a centre back 442 Sebastian Coates. Picked him up for 3.4k. Should be able to sell him on for about 6.5k. 6 I'm pretty certain of that. So about a nice 3k profit on that card. BPL Silver is an absolute dream to, to actually trade with. I'm telling you guys now. Um, but the next card that we should actually pick up is another in from Cleverly for 16,000 coins um, in the centre mid and a 4-3-3 so that automatically is around probably about an 8 to 9k profit so I'm hopefully going to be able to sell that on um, I'm pretty certain I will be able to and you know make a really really nice profit so the final card for this episode is going to be this guy it's a striker his name's Campbell he's in a 4-3-3 formation and obviously he plays for Sunderland picked him up for 7.6k and I think as you will be able to see in a second we put him up for around the 14k mark um, mainly for the fact that it's a bit overpriced for him but um, whenever I first list my cards I always try and like to you know push out the maximised profit as I can and hopefully you know just sometimes a a buyer might come along and be like oh I really need this card I can't really be asked to wait for the open bid one so I'm just going to snap this one up quick I don't really care about losing a couple of K so that is what I'm hoping for if not then I'll obviously lower his price to about 12k or so um, and then I'm almost 100% almost sure he will sell so the next card is going to be this guy an inform cleverly uh, that we obviously picked up in a 433 for 16,250 coins going to be able to sell him on for about probably about 24 to 25k um, that's what I'm hoping for and then we also have this Sebastian Coates that I'm thinking we will probably sell for about probably about 6.4k or something around that margin so um now this last part of this video as we'll be able to see in a second the team of the week will come up on your screen now i don't know if you guys remember ages ago i did a, a video called team of the week investing and it was basically where i went through the team of the week and spoke to you guys about which players i thought were going to rise in the rise in price um after the team of the week had gone and it went down really really well um you know a lot of people seem to enjoy it and seem to get a good bit of out of it and actually make up a good bit of coin so in this team of the week there's in from colocini in from muller in from rooney in from messi in from fabregas they're the, sort of like the five standout players um and i've kind of been thinking about a few players that i wanted to sort of talk to you guys about but there's only one um the first one is going to be the in from colicini who i actually think will rise quite a bit in price uh mainly for the fact that is you know just a, a bpl player a really decent center back really solid and i think you know overall he'll be a very good player that i think will be able to go for quite cheap you know at the moment he's going for about twenty six thousand coins um so i think he probably will rise to about 35k once the team of the week is over i think by the end of the week on wednesday um but just before the new team of the week comes out you'll probably be able to pick them up for about you know i'd probably say about 20k uh maybe even a bit less it depends how many do get onto the market and whether a happy hour is released by ea but 
as you will be able to see in a second, the, he does actually go for about 24,000 coins, uh, one that I actually put in my watch list, and that is really, really annoying because I would have actually bought him uh, if I had the coins then. But that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. It does help me out and shows me that you guys support the video. If you have, then drop a like, obviously. Thumbs up likes would be absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. A new Road to Messi episode will be up on sun Sunday or Saturday, depending on which one. Let me know in the comment section below which day you'd like it to be on. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace.